everyone and howdy welcome back my name is Mara and I am the founder and the mother of the funky sport I've got something to tell every single one of you come closer come I love I love savory salty foods mmm if you know me well you know that I love salty, savory foods like chips and french fries and really just carbs. But here's the thing. I am in this place in my life where I need to start eating and living in a more healthy manner. So my husband and I, we've been going on lots of walks around the lakes in Lakeland where we now live. We've been doing a lot of exploring and hiking and the one thing that we're honestly trying to work on is just eating healthier. Really the big thing that we're trying to do more of is eat more foods that are minimally to non-processed, which just means eating a lot of whole foods. So a lot more vegetables, more fruits, and we're trying our best not to eat as much added sugars or any artificial ingredients. I mean, we're human and we're going to indulge here and there. But with that being said, I actually want to show you how to make really, really delicious chips to snack on. Now, these chips are gonna have a little bit of a twist because we're actually going to be using green beans for this recipe. I'm going to show you for the next few minutes how to create mouth-watering chips using green beans as the base and I'm also going to show you how to create this amazing simple recipe using three different flavors for the chips. If you're interested in learning how to make green bean chips with me, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So as you see, my oven is preheating, and while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna first take my green beans, which are already rinsed. Always make sure you rinse your veggies first. If you can see here, they've got some funny ends, so I'm only just gonna spend about a minute or so chopping the ends of all of these green beans because if I were to chew on these, it would not be very pleasant at all. After we rinse and cut the stems off of the green beans, we're gonna take that entire bunch and equally divide them into thirds. Once you divide the green beans into thirds, set that aside because we're going to make three very unique and flavorful mixes. The first mix we're going to make is going to be a very yummy, Asian-inspired Sriracha sesame blend. You'll go ahead, mix the Sriracha with the sesame oil until it's a nice, equal mix. And then you'll massage your green beans into that mixture until all of them are well coated. The next mixture we're going to make is going to be a delicious Parmesan garlic Italian inspired blend. We'll take our Parmesan cheese along with our garlic powder or fresh garlic cloves if you have and our Italian seasonings which would include spices such as oregano or parsley. We'll blend that very well together with a little bit of oil. We'll add a little bit of olive oil to that mixture, blend that well together, and incorporate those into our second bunch of green beans, and make sure that that's well coated. Finally, the last mixture we're going to make is a little bit more simple, but you can't go wrong with a little bit of salt and pepper. So in a third bowl, we're going to mix some salt and some pepper, and we're going to take that mixture and we're going to add a little bit of a more milder flavored oil, maybe like a light olive oil or even a grapeseed oil. Mix that until everything is well combined. 
Next, you'll get a large baking sheet and if it's large enough, you're going to go ahead and take each of the green beans from each of the mixtures and lightly spread the green beans out so that none of them are overlapping one another. It's okay if you use more than one pan for this portion. After you spread all the green beans out, you will then place them in the center rack of your oven and allow them to cook for about an hour and 20 to 25 minutes. You'll want to make sure that you check your green beans at the hour mark to make sure that they're not burning. Around the 15 to 20 minute mark, go ahead and check your green beans until they are nice and crispy looking. A lot of the liquid will have deflated by then, but you'll have very nice, crispy looking green beans. And voila. All right, folks. Well, after about an hour, 20, 25 minutes, the fries are finally done and the kitchen smells awesome. It smells so good. So if you can see here, so what you see here are my Parmesan crisps, my Parmesan green bean chips. They look really good. And then what you see here, I wanted to, I wanted to make this look as much like um, <laughs> a fast food serving of french fries as possible. So this here has the combination of the salt and pepper green beans and the sriracha green beans. And as you see, because they've been in the oven for quite some time, all three varieties of these green beans have shrunk significantly. And the main reason being is because all most all of that water has evaporated. Well, let's give this a try. Let me start with trying one of the Parmesan crisps. Mmm. Okay now, okay. Ooh, that's good. That is really good. You definitely taste that Parmesan, it kind of like created a little crust around the green beans. Definitely taste that garlic and a little bit of that olive oil. Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Also, the green beans a little sweet. That's what happens when you roast the vegetables, it lightly caramelizes. So I'm gonna try a sriracha green bean. It's a little bit more red. It has that red coat. It kind of caramelized. So let's try this out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. You taste that sesame. It has like a heat kind of in the back here of your throat, but nothing too bad. Super, super yummy. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And let me try the salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Simple, but definitely taste that pepperiness. And you taste more of the green bean, which is a great thing, because you taste that almost like a slight sweetness to it. Um, I would say if you want these to have a little bit more of a crisp and a bite, I let these cool off for a few minutes, maybe about five or ten minutes, but these are super delicious. They're super cute and yummy. Maybe you have some kiddos coming over to your house. You're trying to figure out a really fun way to prepare a snack for them. Social distance, of course. And you want a really healthy alternative to regular potato chips. Definitely consider making these green bean versions of chips or fries. As you see, it wasn't hard, super easy. While it's baking in the oven, you can do whatever else you need to do around the house or even run some errands. And if you don't want any of the marinade mixtures that I used, make your own up. Mm. Okay, folks, I'm gonna finish snacking on all these green beans. I literally think I'm gonna eat an entire pound of green beans by myself, maybe with my husband, in like less than 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some chomping. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, my content, go ahead and click that lovely subscribe button. Follow my blog at thefunkyspork.com. I'll put all that information below. 
I want all of you to have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and a fantastic life. And I will see you next Wednesday. Bye, everyone.